What's up YouTube, it's your boy Tits here, and today we're going to take a look at the Orthos Prime, one of the new melee weapons of Update 9. Ah, oh, what up bitches? Whoa, what the hell? They like ducked or something and it made me miss them. I gotta keep running. I'm on Pluto. I'll definitely die. Definitely get killed. You can hit these things here, by the way, even though you're two feet below them, which is really weird. Watch. Come over here. See, that doesn't make any sense. You're like two feet below them, but you can still hit them got reach on so that's why I'm able to hit them when they're so far ahead of me with the last points you can also put fury on one from the top too because it helps with the animation but check out how fast my charge attacks are you really don't need the fury I would much prefer putting the reach on which I will show a build breakdown here after a little bit of gameplay so a quick few notes about this weapon here I'll show you what it looks like real quick you get them in the uh, voids the new voids of uh, update 9 you need two handles and two blades. It looks exactly like they showed in a few live streams ago when they were talking about releasing pole arms and they released the Orthos and it didn't look the same. Well this is this is the exact uh, model that they actually showed us a while ago, like a month ago or whenever the right regular Orthos was released after the live stream. Turns out it has the exact same stats as the Orthos, the regular Orthos, so only real reason to use it is because mastery rank and it's just badass looking. I, I really didn't like the way it looked at first, but it, it's grown on me. I think it is pretty sweet looking. The blade, it doesn't have the cool blades of the regular Orthos, but I do like it. It's got a 200 charge attack damage and 1.7 charge speed. Same as the Orthos, which is also 1.7. Wiki's got 1.633. 3, I think, but it's actually 1.7. That's the data mine info straight from the game. This weapon does well, pretty much all the heavy weapons. They do a lot of charge attack damage with the new mods. It's it's so sweet. With Loki's invis too. It's just nasty. I can't they're not even high enough level, like I was doing some higher level enemies than this. Like these guys are 60 something. I was doing 80 and 90 something. And my charge attacks and viz were doing between some were 4 grand depending on who I was hitting. But the Corpus tech guys, because they got more health than that, I was doing 65 to 7,500 while in invis. And that's non red. Non red ones. So that's just sweet. Did I go the wrong way? Sorry about that, guys. I'll show you a little bit more gameplay here, and then we'll jump right into the build of this weapon. Oh, come on. I was going to do defense to get a better gameplay, do some higher level defense, but I figured this would work out. I figured if I did Pluto, being the uh, latest planet, highest level, everybody could see how well it does. There's a Corpus Tech. I don't know how much damage I did on him. Son of a bitch. Fuck it. Go invis. You bitches can't see me. There was a red crit. Don't know what it was for, though. Man, I should probably hack this, huh? What do you think, guys? <laughs> ah! There we go. You mother effer. Little bastard. By the way, one thing I do want to note about this weapon. I want to say before I jump into the build breakdown here. Is... A lot of people compare it to the Gram. The Gram is amazing. 
you know, it does its turn three, gets infested, just like the Orthos, but the Orthos has a wee little bit, in fact, it's one tenth of a second faster charge speed, which is nothing. And the thing is, is the um, over the gram, but the gram swings in a full 360 degrees. You cock back, you take a step, do a full 360 degrees, whereas this weapon, watch, it only, it stops right, see where it's stopping, so it's not a full 360 full 360 degrees but one thing you have to understand is see how I'm swinging back first on that swing back you can also hit enemies so in the end it pretty much is 360 degrees there's like maybe a little 30 degree angle that you don't hit the enemies so it you know it really doesn't matter you can use this or the gram they're both basically the best charge attack weapons in the game Graham also has a little bit more range than this, believe it or not. So, I mean, technically, situationally, the Graham, eh, would be a little better than this. If you want to put a label on it like that. But I got the Reach mod on it now, so it's, it's right with the Graham as far as range goes. Alright, we'll go ahead and jump into the build breakdown here. Alright, guys. How to build your Orthos Prime. Level 30. We have a Catalyst in, of course. You're going to want to put in... This is for Corpus, by the way. Actually, the build's going to stay the same throughout. You're only going to change your Bane mod. So for your best charge attack build, you're going to want to do Sundering Strike all the way up. Killing Blow all the way up. Reflex Coil all the way up. And Reach all the way up. Now, you can also put in a Fury, one from the top, and that will give you a little bit faster of the animation part. But, I mean, it's not that much, and even though normally I'd use it in charge attack builds, it really depends on the animation of the weapon. And since this one has such a fast charge attack anyways, especially with the new Focus Energy mod, it's better just, be have, just to have that reach on, especially since reach works so well with this weapon. Now, for the new mods in Update 9, we got Rending Strike as a new Nightmare mod dual stat. This mod used to have a different description, but it did exactly what it says now. They fixed that, and it works exactly how it says. Six, plus 60% charge damage and 60% armor piercing damage. Amazing mod. Probably your best melee mod in the game. And Focus Energy plus 40% charge speed and 60% electrical damage. Also an amazing mod. It's a dual stat nightmare. You get nightmare mode just like Rending Strike. And um, <laughs> it's funny because they they made melee a lot better to make it closer to uh, charge attacking so that that wasn't the only uh, you know thing you wanted to do because it was so much better. But the funny thing is with these two new mods it makes doing charge attacks on a whole nother level now compared to melee so they're back to square one it's kind of funny you would have thought they would have released you know a really nice melee mod even though this would still be good to use on a melee build by the way and this because of you know the armor piercing electrical damage but you would have thought they would have released uh, a mod just for melee and smite corpus our bane mod you get from the new voids Remember, it does 30% overall damage, so it ups your base damage, which is going to up your damage from your elemental mods, and it's also going to up your crits. It's also, not that, you know, this melee weapon, you know, crits all that much, and it's also going to up your charge attacks, because they go off base damage, and your base damage is upped from your Bane mod. All you change for Infested is you're going to want to put a Smite Infested in, and that is all. Do I even have one? I do. And for Grenier, that's the only one I haven't found yet. You're going to want to put a Smite Grenier in. That's all you're going to want to do. I'm not going to really talk about the build too much more because that's really all there is to it. And the gameplay was a little longer this time. So I'm just going to end it now. I'm going to try to do the gameplays maybe more around 4 minutes from now on. But this weapon, uh, the Orthos is, it's, I mean, it pretty much that and the Grams. Best charge attack, you know, weapon in the game. So, it's it's a lot of fun to use, and uh, it's, de it's definitely worth the gameplay time. This weapon is really sweet. You guys should definitely try to go out and get it. 
but if you don't care about the looks of it or the mastery rank, don't even worry about getting it because it's the exact same stats as the Orthos. Alright, I hope this video uh, helped you out, guys. Please comment, like, and subscribe. Message me with any questions you have, and I'll catch you guys later. Peace.